Hello, Zoke here for AMVT Productions tutorial series for the Adobe software. Today I'm going to be going over how to make some simple karaoke animation for text. So just gonna jump right in it into it. First I'm gonna go over how to animate the actual karaoke effect and then we'll try to sync it to some audio. So just as something nice and long to work with. So we're going to twiddle down and go into the text. We're going to click animate and these are all of the different effects that you can use for a karaoke effect. So we're going to add an opacity. Let's try a rotation and a skew. Okay, first things first, we're going to go into the range selector and have it start at the end and bring the end down to the beginning. This is because if I take the opacity down, and now as I scroll through the end, it will animate into it. And this is pretty much the entire premise of animating karaoke text, is animating the end position to scroll through your text as the words are being hit. And if you reverse it, it animates out. That's why you have the start point at the end. So let's go through and adjust some more of these features. We can hit the rotation and rotate this stuff a bit. Skew the axis, that's not doing much anything. So let's add some more stuff. Stroke color, fill color. Let's have it be. And then as it animates, oh, look how crazy that is. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. Hmm. And that is pretty much all there is to the animation itself. All right, now I'm going to go up into the project panel and get some music. So I'll all right, I'm gonna grab Running Away by Hoobastank. Great band, get them. That's my little product placement for the day. Just drag that into my project, turn this off, and let's listen for where the words kick in. About there, so let's see. And let's go ahead and take the little animator that we made. You can just copy the entire animator and paste it on. So now all we have to do is the timing. Click animator range selector and we're going to be animating the end position Oop, not alt clicking just regular click and it's pretty much just grunt labor from here you just have to time it out so just have to guess pretty much page down a bit, hit a keyframe, and it's important to have a keyframe between your words so that it actually stops, because otherwise it'll just smoothly animate and kind of slow down between the words, but if you actually have a little break where there's no motion, it'll look a bit more like a karaoke. I'm just going to try this a bit, and hopefully I can get lucky.
Alright, let's try that. Not bad. Just gonna hit the opacity and now have this fade out. Go ahead and paste my animator again. And again, I'm just going to have to guess because I don't know where the words are, and there's no way to just look at the waveform and tell where they are because there's that acoustic guitar going in the background. So, just have to get lucky, hopefully, and clean it up as you go. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You just have to do the timing and put a little break of no movement in between each word like just one or two frames it makes a difference in the animation also this isn't a terribly good animation it was pretty thrown together but just mess around with it that's the basic concept of how to do it and try to implement it into some of your stuff alright I will talk to you all later